online security expert Robert Siciliano joins us and talks to us about how to avoid un unwrapping a holiday threat and stay protected from cyber scams. Good morning. Robert, good morning. Uh, Robert, talk to us about the top scams people run in and shopping. Yeah, there are a uh, number of scams this year, 12, uh, ones that ultimately are designed to get your personal information, uh, credit card numbers, social security numbers, all the data off of your devices. Uh, one of the big ones this year, it revolves around phishing. Phishing, of course, are emails that you receive that look like they're legitimate, coming from legitimate e-tailers, but are in fact fake designed to get you to enter your personal information and credit card numbers. With all of the recent data breaches, millions and millions of email addresses are now in the hands of bad guys. So anytime you get these links, don't click the link because ultimately that's going to infect your device. Anytime you enter credit card information, you always have to make sure to pay attention to your statements every month, even weekly, to make sure that all the charges are authorized by you. What are the new out-of-the-box tactics scammers are using? Well, scammers are now going after mobile devices. Mobile devices are uh, just as vulnerable today as PCs are. So make sure with your mobile devices like tablets and mobile phones, especially the Android operating system, that you are uh, downloading what's called antivirus for your mobile devices. So McAfee Mobile Security now takes care of your mobiles like it does your PCs. What are the biggest red flags? So red flags are, you know, anytime you see misspellings, anytime you're asked to enter your credit card information or usernames and passwords in an email, anytime somebody calls you asking for personal information, these should all be considered red flags. Are there preventative measures I can take to avoid these scams or malware? The best thing to do is to um, deploy multiple layers of protection. That means to make sure that your browsers have the latest updated security patches, you have the updated security patches for your operating systems, and you have antivirus, anti-spyware, anti-phishing, and a firewall. These are all multiple layers of protection designed to protect the data on your devices. Are there different steps to take for different devices? So generally, all of your devices function in the same ways as far as the updates go. Often the manufacturers will push out the operating system devices. The antivirus usually has built-in uh, times during the week where it downloads and updates all your security patches and update your antivirus. So as long as you leave everything default, generally you're going to be in pretty good shape. Great. And where can viewers go for more information? For more information to learn about how to protect your data, your devices, and your personal information, go to McAfee.com to learn more about the 12 scams of the holidays. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.